Hey there everybody and welcome back to Advance Wars, it's me Cooper and today we are going to be taking on the Sniper Grit with our character, we don't have a character. It's not showing me who's fighting Grit. Grit lays low in Fog of War. Ah, he's going to have Fog of War in this fight, damn it. Oh, I get to choose! Weak of distances and strong uh, with healing. Yeah, honestly, Andy might be better in this situation just because we're going against range. No offense to Max, I enjoyed using Max last episode, and I would like to use him again, again. but Grit is like the perfect counter to Max. Because Grit loves uh, buffing his range troops with even more range, which Max can't do anything about. Whereas uh, Andy can heal his troops. Oh, also Fog. Commander. We already know what Fog of War is. Uh, I do have a recon troop, luckily. <laughs> if you can hide units in the woods, then so can our opponent. Alright, well, we got a couple of recon units. Do we have anywhere where we can build troops? I don't see any builders, so once we lose our troops, they're gone for good. I can assume that going over there might be a little risky, but let's, let's think about it. Andy likes troops like rockets like this. And he likes troops like artillery. So I'm going to do this. We're going to move recon into the woods to give us vision. I knew it. Okay. Now we know they have an artillery unit and we're in range, so that's terrible. Okay, well, we lost recon. I can live with that. Rocket unit can move as far as it wants, right? Okay. Rocket unit can move to the city. Our tank units can actually... Oh, what? There's... We didn't have vision on that enemy? Okay, well, that changes things. Um, waste of my time, honestly. Now we're going to have to use our freaking medium tank on them. Just because they can't really retaliate against a medium... I can't believe some infantry could survive medium tanks. It's kind of brutal. And don't forget that Andy automatically has more artillery, uh, you know, range. All of his units have better range, so we gotta deal with that. I could use my helicopter troops really aggressively to try and take down the artillery unit before they become threats. Um, it's not even a bad option. So you just wait there. My infantry can't do anything. Uh, my... I don't know if there's more people in, the, in there. My infantry could run over here and die, probably. We don't have that much vision left, and recon's gonna go down soon, but I have another recon for that. Uh, we're gonna load up this. Can I load it up with two? I can't. Damn, only the freaking landers, huh? We're gonna go check the air, because we don't know if our opponent uses air troops. We will start hitting his artillery troops, just because they have a big advantage with his character. And we don't want our opponent to have that advantage, so... Yeah, there. Now his artillery won't do that much damage to me. My other troop can move in, and we can just wipe it. But if I do that, we don't know if another troop will come in to destroy us. And I, you know what? I might not care. I might not care. Hey, now I know there's no trap over there. Yeah, I might not care. I might just do this because I want to keep my recon alive. Plus, I don't think tank troops can do anything to my, or to my freaking copters. Even if my copters are in range of other things like possible rockets in the distance. Possible rockets in the distance does scare me. Alright, well, looks like we dealt with this guy, no problem. I see I have no APC units this time around. That's a shame. I like APC units. I like using them as tanks. <laughs> like, literally, not as tanks, as, like, tanks, but, like, as people that protect our troops. Oh, they do have an APC. I just didn't notice it. All right, you load. And we go over here. Yeah. Oh, uh, we don't need to drop off just yet. We're going to get a little closer first. You're going to take that city. You're going to take that over there. All right, our troops, we're leaving this completely unguarded. Um, I guess artillery is there, at least, but still. Day one for Grit. Let's see what kind of troops he was hiding. And apparently flying over there was the worst play in the world. We had no clue. We have lost our we have lost two troops in one play. Their recon troop has given them vision. So that their okay, well rocket troops are in the in range. We just gotta understand he's gonna have the range advantage. That's fine. Losing two troops though was huge. I heard people moving in the darkness. I hear them moving. It's weird that that tank didn't attack us. Why move if you don't plan on attacking? Alright, recon, we need recon. Also, do damage while you're doing the recon. Recon versus recon. 
Uh, you know what? Before I do that, we need to damage their recon. Medium tank unit is for the tank unit. Rocket unit needs to move forward. Our tank unit is in range, so no matter who I move up, it is going to be in range. I have to realize that. Helicopter troop, let's have you. I don't... There's not going to be anyone on there. Yeah, just fire there. I know I'm putting helicopters in risk, but... I need to keep my recons alive. They matter more right now. Oh, well. Recon units can actually fire back against uh, rocket. Oh, there they are. So, yeah, this is his... Wait. That's not the guy that hit us, then. The guy that hit us is in here. That's, like, guaranteed that he's in there. So, if I move my recon forward, we can actually get him. Alright, recon move forward. We wiped out his recon. Which means his vision... Oh, I can't check the woods. I actually have to run into the woods to check the woods. Okay, let's fall into a trap. Oh, it's not a trap. Uh-oh. Let's fall into a trap. I can't fall into traps if I... If I were to stand here, I don't get vision. Okay. Another recon unit might give us vision, maybe. If I were to fire... Yeah, no, those tanks do too much. Let's just get our medium tank forward. We already know we're in range of the enemy's rockets, so it doesn't exactly... Well, it does matter if this guy is in range. Yeah, no. We're going to move this guy into the bushes then. Nope, into the bushes then. And let's just take out this tank. So the enemy rockets have to be in those bushes back there. Because there's no other way he could reach me with his... Oh, wait a minute. I'm thinking too small. He might be in the bi buildings. Other recon unit. Give me vision. It can't go that far. Interesting. Give me vision over here. Fire upon the tank. No, not really. But give me vision over there. No! So they, they are in these bushes. Shit. Who can I who can I hang out to dry? Because I need to get somebody into the bushes to weaken them. I guess my APC unit. Yes. Okay, good. We have revealed the rocket unit. We want that. Tank unit, get in. Take out the rocket unit. At least weaken them. So Grit really you had a lot of traps set for us, which is really bad. But it's okay. We'll make do. Helicopter unit, we could use you to take out or weaken some of these troops. Just because they can't retaliate. So 45% damage is great. Oh god, there's a regular car in the background. Uh-oh. We're fighting in active city zones with actual humans. You know, not soldiers, citizens. Alright, rocket man. I want to move my rockets forward, but I'm also at risk because I couldn't destroy the enemy rockets. I can't even destroy the enemy tank, which is weird. Granted, yeah, my tank has barely survived the last fight, so it's probably going to die here. Just try to weaken this guy. Nope, it's a very it's a very slow fight between one tank and one tank. You need multiple tanks to make it matter. Artillery unit has to keep moving forward, which is just sad at this point. Soldier units can capture bases. And get into the trees where you're safer. My rocket unit needs to move forward as well. I don't really care if they get attacked when my opponents are this weak. All right, let's see what takes. I know no matter what, we lost our tank, which is fine. That tank was already weak. He got his extended range move. Oh shit! It's time to take you. Oh, he got it so early. He got it so early. Granted, he did destroy a lot of my troops, so it makes sense. But that means people in the fog of war could probably attack us now. Who is he going after? A full health unit destroyed our helicopters. That means they're somewhere in the fog of war. We don't even know where. Probably around the building up there. This we expected. Even without the extended range, we expected this part to happen. I like that dive sign. It's like, hey, do you got subunits? Use them. Artillery unit moves forward. I hear more units moving forward. Okay. Yeah, this guy's perfectly protected. And now that he had extended range, he was able to kill me with his move. Um, tank unit, destroy this unit, please. I need to be able to move my APC unit forward. It's weird they didn't use this rocket unit. Alright, enemy down. We got our ability now, which nobody survived. He's been one-shotting us, so our ability is actually more worthless than I thought. Maybe I should have went for our... Our boy. Now let's see how much we can do. Nope, they're in a build they're in a city. It makes them tankier. And with their extended range, no matter where I go, I'm in danger. But I need my recon to just move forward in general so I can find out where that one unit is. There they are. So their range is in okay, I'm in range right now. I need to move. 
Let's go ahead and just try to weaken this. I know it heals every turn, but if I can just weaken them enough so that they don't one-shot me. Granted, he one-shot me because he used his ability. His ability made him stronger. And we got a little more vision over here. Other recon unit could also move forward. But right now, I got no troops that are in range. It's actually a bad battle for me. My APC unit can't do anything. My rocket unit has to keep moving forward. So that guy, what is his range? Up to that road. So let me move my rocket to here, just so I know the range. And then my other units will have to just do their best. Now, this is only anti-air, right? Now that I think about it. Missiles. Rockets. Yeah, they're only anti-air. So as long as my helicopter's not in range, it doesn't matter. But they have an anti-air unit right here, so my, my, my guy's gone either way. I just wanted to try and weaken the rocket unit so that my rocket unit could beat it in a 1v1, which is good enough. Recon, can you take out a tank? 4%? No, not really. Well, then I guess my medium tank's gonna have to move in over here. And then my artillery continues to move forward. Actually, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, artillery just move all the way forward, it don't matter. And then Recon, I might actually use you to try to take out that tank with some backup from infantry. You capture that city so we have a place to heal even if that ever comes in handy. Which at this point in time is not going to come in handy. And then Recon Unit, do your absolute best to take this guy out for me. I understand this is not exactly the fight you want. You did it! Yeah! Recon unit, you stopped him from healing. Good job. Alright, good news. Bad news, I lost all my helicopters. Good news, who needs them? Okay, he's going after my recon so I can't see him anymore. Smart play. Well, I already injured him so he can't take out recon once and for all. They're not doing good though. Anti-air will take out helicopters once and for all. This is their only job. Yep. So I lost my vision over there, right? Well, at least I know they're there. But I can't aim at the anti-air anymore. Okay, I have my heal ability. Like I said, I'm only getting one shot, really, except for that guy. Oh, enemy artillery unit's coming in. We're gonna use you to destroy you. Yeah, we don't want you alive. We got rid of the rockets, which is good, because they could have done massive damage to our team in the long run. We have our medium tank, which can easily wipe out the enemy tank. Yep. Which means I can move my rockets forward. The problem is my rockets has the same range as um, Grit's freaking artillery. That's just how powerful Grit is. I can move into the city, though, to give me defense to help out. My recon could also weaken the artillery just so we don't take a big hit. Since that troop over there doesn't exactly matter anymore. Then my mech unit can cross the mountains over there, so it's actually still worth using the APC unit right now. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep dropping them off just in case we get hit by something we don't expect, and then we're gonna try and get them into the mountains so that they can sneak into the enemy base. Um, tank unit, let's go. Yeah, over here, extra recon unit. Let's uh, get ready because we're gonna need you. Well, this guy might get his ability, so let's. Get you over here for a second, yeah. And then you just keep moving forward, you're not in any danger. You did good capturing that base, so move forward. And we're good. We have advantage right now. He has a useless troop, and we have good troops. A long battle, my ass it's gonna be long, unless you have a place where you can restock your troops. Anti- whoa, what the hell? What's hitting me? Oh, artillery. I was gonna say, the anti-air unit can't do that. They don't have that kind of range. My rocket unit takes the hit, the city did defend us though. And the recon unit helped. So we're at day five, and the heal will matter this time around, because I need to get my guys back up. Plus, this gives me a buff and a little bit of damage, so let's do it. Hyper Repair! Hyper Repair. Next time, I'm just going Max. Max probably would have just not cared. He would have went in. Max would have went ham. All right, heavy tank or medium tank. We have, I don't even know if there are heavy tanks yet, but artillery, go in. All right, we destroyed the enemy artillery. Yay. Next, we need to keep moving our artillery forward. Now it can destroy that thing for us for free. 
Uh, rocket unit, get that damage in. We don't want that thing to be healthy when our recon comes around. I actually don't know what's stronger, anti-air or recon. If I had to guess, anti-air looks like it has bigger guns, but anything can happen. Recon, they're down to 3 HP. What could you do to that? Oh, yeah, we suck against anti-air. Well, then just give me recon in their base so I know what I'm sending my boys into. Nothing. He used all, he moved all of his troops forward very early. So now I could sneak through the mountains and go capture their base since they have nothing left. Yeah, did I put recon in danger? Sure I did. Does it matter? Absolutely not. Alright, and you buddy, just go capture the blue base. Yay! Although I, by moving recon, we don't, don't have vision over there, which... The other recon will fix that, so it's fine. Day 5. We know they have nothing over there. Oh, he has his ability, but he's out of... He's out of artillery troops! Our boy has no artillery left! Which means recon maximum movement. M -m maximum You do your artillery. Those guys can only hit freaking air troops. And we lost our air troops so early that it didn't matter. All right. Uh, I need somebody that can actually take down that freaking anti-air. Which sadly, I have no troops in the area. My tank moves pretty fast though, so it'll catch up. He's trying to get to the healing spot, I already know this. And then Rocket Troop, if he goes to the healing spot, you'll be ready. Alright, if I did it from the trees, it's still not worth it. Okay. Well, that's completely fine. We did good. Yeah, use your ability, dude. Go ahead. On all those all troops you have. Wait. Snipe attack. Wait. Does he have someone left that I don't know about? Oh, it works on that guy only? That guy has no targets. Wait, he does have someone left I don't know about. There's an artillery unit somewhere out there. Oh shit, my recon didn't give me enough recon. I should have moved him even farther forward. I just thought we did it. All right, fog of war has become an issue yet again. So I need my other recon troop forward. Fire. That guy will survive it though. If I'm trying to capture the enemy base, it might not matter, but it does matter still. It's down to one troop. Alright, you run your ass forward. We gotta find out where I missed that artillery unit. With his ability, it works, so maybe it's way back here. Maybe he had to use his ability to make it work. That anti-air unit's kind of going towards my mech boys, so I could kill it, but I think that's the bait. If I know where he is, then I, I gotta... Yeah... No matter what, when I find that artillery, we have enough troops in the, in his base that it won't matter. It's not here. It's here somewhere. How did he fire so far away? Alright, tank unit, just, uh... I guess you can't see them. Okay. No, I don't really need you, though. So, yeah, just go destroy that guy. Just so that we don't have to do anything else. Rocket unit, to just go somewhere. You capture base just for fun. And just in case we somehow lose our mech unit, infantry just continue to move through the mountains. Alright, we're good. Looks like everyone's done their jobs. All that's left is one artillery unit that we don't know about. It's hiding out there. Alright, so let's go ahead and begin. The onslaught. Fire, destroy. Our tank unit did its job. Working as vision, mostly. And the last artillery unit this man has hiding out there, we're going to find. Mech unit, start capturing enemy base. There it is. One behind. And just murder it. Oh, it lives. It barely lives. Your artillery barely lives. You have one troop left in this entire war. I could let it live. Or not. Get in there. We don't even need to capture your base, we'll just murder your soldiers. And just like that, Grit's range did not matter in the end. Wait. He still has a troop left out there? Where? Where could it possibly be? Is it in there? No way. No way he leaves a troop way out in this no man's land. Why even leave a troop over there? What's the value of it? There is no value of it. I have a recon troop left, we could try to figure it out. Oh, he does! What is it? It's rockets! Oh crap, I cost soldiers lives, not knowing. 
One guy lives. Come on. That's every time one guy lives, it's sacrificial Joe. Every time. All right, Recon, before we win the fight, just let me know where they were. Okay, we can't find out. Just capture. We did it, everybody. Enemy base captured. This guy put his troops in really good positions up front and really bad positions in the back. Howdy there. Hey, how you been? I was wondering why I hadn't seen you around lately. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Don't be like that. I got my reasons for doing what I do. But I'm getting out here before you start getting preachy. Oh, God. Well, it looks like everyone's friends. <laughs> like, everyone in this war knows each other, and we're just killing soldiers. It feels terrible. All right, speed was really good, power was amazing, and technique was good enough. A for Andy, that's right. A for Andy, and one D, because Andy has the... No, wait, not going to finish that sentence. And there we go. Andy, get me some points. Heck yeah, bro. I appreciate you. Get me all the points. Yeah, thank you for the music, dude. I don't really want it, but thank you. And we are in the enemy base of Blue Moon. So now we're going to go all the way over to there. Blast it all. Great. It's not Blue Moon territory? <sighs> ah! Damn. So they didn't used to own this territory, they took it earlier. We've made it to our first four-star mission, the Blizzard Battle. Oh god. I'll see you all then. Please remember to like and subscribe.